guys, Rexasaur here, and welcome back to King Arthur, the role-playing war game. Now, uh, due to the lack of people watching this series, and I know that, you know, there's quite a few of you that do watch this series, but not an incredible amount, and um, to be fair, it's a bit of a slow series, and although I enjoy it, I don't think I enjoy as much as doing something else. So this will be probably the last part of the episode or basically the last part we'll be taking of London uh, so when we left off we took over the West Mercia and uh, that's the end of turn so basically I'm sorry guys for having to end this uh, series um, oh someone's going to war or maybe they're just allies whatever um, there's another army I don't have to literally care about Yes. On my way. So yeah, um, so there will be a game voting video um, yes, my lord. in the eventuality. I don't want that. Where can I go up to? Uh, yeah, my on my off. way. Um, so I will put up a few games that we can vote. On. Well, we you can vote on what I play. Um, and yeah, um, pretty much. I'm sorry I have to end this. It, it was it was fun while it lasted, but oh my god, this is severely depleted. Damn it. Maybe I should have uh, retrained my troops first. Whoops. Ah, oh, doesn't matter. Then ten. Might get a battle. Nope. Training. Nope. Battle. A very weak army. We are going to also resolve this. I lost zero men. <laughs> so yeah. Uh, no level up units. <coughs> so King Mark, King Mark can't look So we got attorney knights. Now we're gonna go for uh, up creep. I think make it much less. These guys are going to go for attack. These guys are going to go for attack. These guys are going to go for attack. These guys have two levels. They're going to go for attack and upkeep. These guys are going to go for defense. These guys are going to go for archery. And these guys are going to go for archery. There we go. Can he upgrade? No very well. And then these guys, so so Gareth can upgrade. Um, let's go for Arcane Infinity, it's pretty damn awesome. Spell Weaving is also pretty damn awesome. Plus one mana more when someone dies. It's a bit of a random one. I'm going to put his attack up. I need some defensive skills actually. I've already got all these. I think I'm going to increase it anyway. There we go. Um, so yeah, that's that's that. Uh, right, yeoman. What are they good at? <laughs> the average. So we're going to put the attack up. Heavy footman. Oh my god. We're going to put. Um, we're going to put uh, defense up. Yeoman attack. Bow, bow, and bow. Round have we got something at the round table? Did we get a woman or something? We got any more prisoners? Oh, we do have a prisoner. Hello. Um, we can release him or torture him. We torture him. No, oh, he died. Sad face. Magic chart, not much is going on. It's all going good. And end turn. Right, so we're probably going to sacrifice a unit or two. So we're going to go with our yes, stronger friend. army first. 
Let's see what he's got. He has amazing units. Shit, man. He's got break shields. God damn it. <laughs> Those guys are amazing. Sir Elston. Yeah, it's not looking good for me. Oh, God, he's got level 6 cav. And level 6 break shields as well. And level 6 foot axemen. Right, guys, I shall see you on the battlefield. Once I've picked... Welcome to London. Doesn't look anything like nowadays, or like it did in the medieval times. This is a completely weirdly generated London. There's a cathedral on top. So there are three places I need to take. Wonderful. Hmm. What are these places? Guard post, cloud of arrows spell, cloud of arrows and cloud of arrows. Right. Wonderful. Whoa. Don't know what's happening there. Uh so we are going to just move our men, deploy them in a line would be nice. There we go. Love the music on this battle. Right, so the enemy are all down there, so we're just going to run it up. We can then move some of our horsemen that way. I think we're going to move both our horsemen there. Gives me a cloud of arrows, so... Oh. the enemy are running down. I should be able to hold a defensive position here and to increase game time to four. My cavalry going around. Right. So, if they're coming down to me, I might as well form a defensive perimeter here with my archers here, and then the rest of my men. So I have the ability to use Cloud of Arrows, um, which targeted archers units shoots two arrows instead of one, which is pretty awesome. They got some break shields coming down. They're actually split off, so that's good. They got their archers here though. Um, and I think they have longbowmen, break shields, axemen, yeah they have quite a few units there. Use Curse of Shadows on these dudes. Cloud of Arrows has been used. Oi. Get back here, what are you doing? Oh my. My men are so depleted. <laughs> so we're going to just form the assault. We are attacking, I just realised. And they are retreating, so we are going to attack these with my horsemen. Move these men here. Try and take these out. I'm going to use Dragon's Breath on the him. Kills. I'm going to try and take out these spearmen. Right, 
looks like these men aren't actually going to get attacked so we're going to just move these oh so we are going to get attacked here though uh, we're going to move these here try and get a few shots off whilst what are those? break shields and more and axemen as long as they're not spearmen we'll be fine I mean, I think I can take those on pretty easy. Ah, oh, damn, he's got that spell of awesomeness, masterful tactic. Mildly annoying. We are getting swarmed. But with these men coming down, if, if they bothered to actually go fast. What's happening over here? It's not going too badly, I haven't lost the man yet. Here, however, is a different story. Right, I need to put in my yeoman because I don't have enough troops. need you to run. What's my arches? Go here, go here. And I'll shoot him at the enemy. Oh, it's not going too good for my dudes. Ah, uh, then again. They're taking out a few break shields. No, no, actually, no. quite a few men. These break shields are amazing. Yes! Captured their general. Are these break shields? It's all going well. Why can't I use them? I got enough mana though. Oh no, I don't. <laughs> yeah, three, two. <laughs> well, um. not going well for these dudes, that's for sure. I'm going to set my men up here, get ready to fire upon these men. Oh, actually, are they moving now? No. I pretty much... my cab is just getting owned. But they're keeping the men at bay while I take out these bastards, so... Oh, they're running away, aren't they? 
Oh my god, I took out so many. Absolutely devastating my bows are. Well, um, bowmen are a bit OP, <laughs> it seems. I haven't won yet, but I definitely have not lost. Here we go, all dead. Then we go up. Oh, 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 get back. Enemy, enemy, enemy. Shit. Shit. I've killed quite a few of them, but now I'm going to take so many casualties from this. Oh, I should have seen them come down. So, okay, I haven't lost an incredible amount of men yet, but I'm pretty sure I will if they keep. Oh my god, have you seen how depleted my men are? Bastards. Huskars, oh fuck. Stupid Saxon troops. So my archer is going to go here. See if I can shoot them. That's pretty much just these, so let's shoot those. Where are my horsemen? They're still in combat. They're still alive. They're doing pretty good. Ooh, pretty good, actually. Pretty sure it's down to 11. And the axeman 32, though, so it's not bad. Right, my morale is absolutely shattered. <laughs> right, I need to take off keep the range, because... Right now, that's gonna lose me. Those cows aren't doing amazing, but won't be long until they like destroy me. My army morale is low. I am gonna die very soon. I'm losing a lot more off from friendly fire actually. Yep. Or I may have lost it from that as well. Oh well, defeated, but we still have a second army on its way. And um we've killed is that theirs or ours? That's theirs. We've uh, killed five hundred and thirty five uh, five hundred and fifty one and killed eleven whole teams. So um See you on the... Well guys, here we are, we're back. We lost all our men, obviously. Um, but we killed so much of theirs. So now, King Mark, after a noble sacrifice of Sir Gareth, will take down the enemy force with style.
so see you on the uh, so here we are again welcome back to London um, yeah we have a bigger well we don't have a bigger but we have another huge army if we lose this I will be shocked but um, yeah I don't think we have the cavalry ability this time but we still have some archers and the archers are going to be our greatest thing and they don't have that many men compared to us and we have giants um, so that'll be good. So here we are. We are going to mush them, as it says. If I select everyone, and just start battle straight off. Go that way. I send my tawny knights to here. Oh dear. So let's look at that army. That army composes of one big unit of longbowmen, uh, two <laughs> break shields, well, a break shield and Sir Athelstan, seven huskulls, and eleven other break shields. So we'll be absolutely fine. So we're going to accelerate this a lot. Tony Knight's going to straight away capture this cloud of arrow spell. Giants are actually pretty fast. I think they are going around, so I think we're going to follow them. We're going to go this way. This is actually no, they are both coming this way. So, oh, they're coming every way. Let's get our archers, archers. far upon these dudes. Yeah. Cloud of arrows on that unit. Oh my God! Took down three. Didn't take down any, and they're all dead. And then we'll get these two to attack this guy. Then they're retreating now. <laughs> it's just Sir uh, Edelston now, using hit points like there was no tomorrow. It's all over for him. He's only got 107 man. He's a shit person. He has a staff, but he can't use it because he's only got 717 mana. Compared to King Mark, who also have his, no, has 172. So yeah, he's dead. Um, right, so. If we send our capturers this way. I'm going to send my men here, I'm going to send my tawny knights to attack these. Because there's heavy cavalry, they can do a lot of damage. Was it other unit there? Well, it's just a unit of axemen. Now they are shooting at us, but will it really do any damage? Oh, they have another unit, unit of brick shield. So our archers aren't actually in range of anything. Oh, that's because they're not even freaking attacking. Right, so we're just going to attack these bastards. There we go. Send our Tony Knights in first. Probably not. Probably we're going to send them against the break shields because they're the ones that are going to be in range first. And sh oh, everyone. 
everyone's going in combat apparently. Right, no, we're just going to send them here. Right, so apparently they're all going in combat, that's fine by me. I'm just going to use healing on these. Accelerate time a bit. I think I can use Cloud of Arrows, yes I can. And it's pretty much all over, we've won guys! Victory! A uh, well deserved victory after the sacrifice of so many. Just to end this, we lost 12 soldiers, jeez. Strongholds are the magic castles of legend, where gods and heroes lived, but these keeps were left in ruins. There are only a handful of sacred places in Britannia where strongholds can exist again. Each of them has a secret heart, a powerful item of magic. Excalibur is the heart of Arthur's first stronghold and people will tell tales of how it was created from nothing. Of how it was not built but born during a single night, and they will call it Camelot. Bum, bum, bum. Cool, now let me play. Done. The Book of Conquest. You have captured one of the few mystic strongholds of Britannia. With the might of Excalibur, you unlocked its magical potential. You are ready to build a magnificent capital, a step of the air of Ufa Pendragon, which means that after minor rivalries in the provinces, you are now going to battle with the rulers of greater and more powerful kingdoms. Bum, bum, bum. Anything else? New province, yes. New hero, uh, we got a new hero. Oh, we got two new heroes. That's good because we ran out of them. Uh, yes, we got yeah a good, a good amount. So what we're going to do is we're going to give them some fiefdoms. Logress gives that to him. Him, we're going to give Somerset. Oh, I thought we. Why so Gareth in jail? Cool. Anyway, um, <laughs> what's this? London. We don't really have anything extra to do, really. If we look at our objectives, pretty much done book one. We are now going to move on book two when I end turn, so I'm going to do that. Um, don't know what's Stronghold does. I think I can recruit for ranks. Yeah, we're gonna make more bowmen because they're awesome. And then we'll make no, not spearmen. Human. There we go. So let's end turn. See what has what the start of book. Well, look at the start of book two, and then we'll end it there. And I might carry this on in. In the eventuality of time, maybe a while, a very long while, but I think this is a very good place to stop this. Let's play. King Offer was a douche. Really? Nothing else?
ready to serve. Well, that was crap. Um, <laughs> but yeah, we got the Kingdom of. Ooh. Hello, Wales in the ring world, apparently. Uncle. King Sinek and King Mercia. We're probably going to take the Kingdom of Mercia. But that's for another time, so thank you very much for joining me. Um, I'm sorry that I have to end this, but, you know, personal preferences, so, yeah. Um, but thank you for sticking with me for uh, eight or, was it seven or eight parts? Um, I may carry this on in the eventuality of time, but right now, I think stopping this is a wise move. So thank you very much for joining me.